What's up fam? Welcome back to the channel. Yes, it's me again. Don't click off. Don't click off guys. What is happening with Kroger is serious. They're not addressing it, but it is serious. There is a lawsuit involved. Stay tuned. Again, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, thank you for being here. If you haven't subscribed, we would love for you to become one of our cousins here on Tommy Bites TV, where we're bringing you news you can use, also gardening, and just me raising my, you know, animals. Every now and then I show you guys what I'm up to in trying to become a little more self-reliant and self-sufficient. Also stockpiling food. I've shown you my pantry. I may show you that again because I need to stock up some more and so do you. So let's get into this Kroger video and what is actually happening with them because more and more stores just like Kroger's are trying to figure out how we gonna survive and stay alive. Some stores are doing better than others like Target. Target is doing way better than a lot of stores are doing. They are coping well with this whole pandemic that has been taking place since 2020, setting standards that other people are now starting to follow because some people aren't doing it right. We have some stores that are overcharging, um, charging one thing on the shelf and then you check out, it costs you twice what you thought it cost. So what is Kroger doing? Well, Kroger is accused, so I'm gonna say accused and allegedly, have been taking money from their employees out of their checks. Kroger workers filed a class action lawsuit against the company claiming the grocery chain garnished paychecks and failed to pay wages after it implemented a new payroll system in 2022. The lawsuit filed January 19th alleges that workers were not paid for overtime, had their paychecks garnished, and in one case claims a worker was not paid throughout their entire tenure with the company. These are workers who are not in a position to have their paychecks reduced, says Rachel Nottis, an attorney representing the Kroger workers, and that's what they told the inside. Kroger operates many, many locations, uh, 2,700 stores across 35 states. A spokesperson for the company did not immediately respond to the insider's request for comment. Now let's discuss where this is actually taking place because it is not in every single location around the country. So Kroger's owned stores in Virginia and West Virginia, this is where it took place. The suit revolves around claims of wage theft. Four workers named in the lawsuit claim that their wages have been impacted since the system was introduced in 2022. More than a thousand Kroger workers have reported payroll problems according to a press release from the United Food and Commercial Workers Local 400 Union, which represents thousands of Kroger employees in the region. The union president said that this is wage theft, plain and simple. When you work for an employer, you should be compensated completely and correctly for every minute you work. And if you aren't, then your employer is stealing from you. One former Kroger worker, one former worker, Sharon Simpson, claimed in the lawsuit that she was never paid for nearly 80 hours that she had worked during her five week tenure. So I'm guessing that she might have left and said, look, if they're not gonna pay me, I'm gonna quit and I'm gonna file this law. So there was another employee, Lori Dalton, who claimed that Kroger deducted her spousal copay twice in several weeks throughout 2022, leaving her without thousands in wages. The lawsuit claims hundreds of workers have reported problems receiving proper payment. Mm. The lawsuit claims hundreds of workers have reported problems receiving proper payment, adding that Kroger is aware the implementation of my time has resulted in underpayment to employees and refuses to do anything about it. Kroger has been made aware of these issues and again, they haven't corrected them. The attorney for the union said that 
They will be handling all the cases and in hopes to recover the lost wages and receive damages for the Kroger workers affected. She said the lawsuit will also aim to add more plaintiffs as the union continues to accept reports of wage theft on its website. So y'all, this is picking up steam. We're going to try to keep track of that and see if Kroger actually comes out with a statement. And what is that statement going to be? What is the excuse? Because if you, you know, things do happen, but when you see that they happen, you should be able to correct them for that employee or for those employees. So there are going to be damages in here, not just lost wages because people weren't able to pay bills or do whatever else it is that they had to do, maybe medical needs, it's gonna be paid. Let me know what you think down in the comments about this. You know, are they wrong for filing this lawsuit? Um, what should Kroger's do? And you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, I love you, God loves you more. I really wanted to get it right. Trying to find some balance in my life I never really put up a fight And now I'm losing sleep What if I lost touch? What if I'll never get it right? I try to follow my heart But I lost it somehow Wish that someone could say It'll all be okay Just, just listen to me I say, listen to me as I